five minute to I've left one man, bro. Yo, what's good with you guys? My name is Fan, and we are back with another video. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. And if you already been rocking with your boy, you already know what's good. Welcome back to another video, my G. Anyways, look, I ain't gonna cap to you. So all I've been doing on Destiny for like the past couple days is literally trying my hardest to get these red border guns from the Seraph like little missions and everything. I can't tell you how many times I've replayed that mission. And if you don't know what that is, basically every new season we get this new like event that you can do like over and over again to farm new weapons. On this go around, we had this thing called Heist Battlegrounds. It's just, you know, a mission that you just farm over and over again. That's just like the basis, you know, of the whole thing. Now, in the past, I'm not gonna lie to you, getting red border guns didn't really feel like it was this, I don't wanna say difficult but time consuming all right i'm not gonna lie i've ran that thing at least a hundred plus times i'm not gonna lie to you and i've gotten one red border i've gotten one i trade one game off for i do pve i lose brain cells i do pvp i lose brain cells there is no middle ground nothing has changed y'all boy this game is still trash i promise you oh yeah and the smg i said i was gonna craft the smg but i haven't even gotten a single one of them to drop normally so that might be that might take a little while i'm not gonna lie let's go do what everybody else does i'm just gonna borrow someone's account hey yo who has a crafted icolos whose account i can borrow for a video right quick man i appreciate y'all yeah eternity has the first map yep it, this yeah it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be a real fun day you get eternity as the first map of the day yeah you're in for a long run i'm not gonna lie to you look at the scope on this thing man this scope is so clean now, i know a lot of people aren't fans of having a whole bunch of like nonsense going on with their sniper scope but honestly it just adds in like the, you know the fanciness of it yeah that was smart jump right up in the air it makes it real easy to hit you no way that sticks me are you serious No way that kills me. Okay, I was gonna say, dude, there's no way. No, what the heck? It's like my controller quit working in mid. What the heck? My trigger just stopped working. Uh, but this is the first time in a very, and I mean very long time, when it comes to playing RPGs. Like most RPGs, I want all the armor. I want all like the fancy guns and everything. This is the first time where I can actually say, yeah, Season of Seraph and Destiny 2, I want the armor set and I want all the guns that come along with it. But the armor actually looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to grind it and actually get the armor set at least on two of my characters. You know, I only had the brain capacity to actually grind two of them. It just so happens in Season of the Seraph, the magic is kind of there. You know what I'm saying? The magic kind of came back. You know, I saw the armor, I saw the guns. I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to play this for real. Bro, this man hits me every time. That's why you suck. Oh, no. I want my get back with that Titan. Where you at, boy? Dude, this sniper just feels too good. It's not even like a god. Well, it does he have snapshot. I want y'all to understand that. Come here. <laughs> Look at this thing, bro. Look at what I'm hitting with this. Oh, God. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Dude, like... I'm gonna tell you, man, these Seraph weapons are just, you know, they're my calling. I promise you. The Look at this guy, man. <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this. Y'all sat there and choked it within like five seconds. Congratulations. Uh oh, but here we go again with the melee. Registration not working at the end of the game, bro. Look at it. But outside that foolery, uh, first of all, day near all of North America is like freezing. I think it's actually snowing. So like there's like, you know, you got Central Florida and Southern Florida. I think like the uppermost part of Florida where the capital is, Tallahassee, I think it's actually getting some kind of snow up there. Not like blizzard, like, you know, inches of snow, probably like how y'all up in like Chicago and everything else and like Massachusetts are probably getting snow. But nonetheless, we is getting snow. All right. It was 15 degrees last night. I was just like, bruh, all right, man. <laughs> I was just like, what's good? What's actually good with the temperature right now? See, I'm weird. I like cold weather, you know, and I live in Florida. Florida. So, you know, I kind of be contradicting, you know, myself with where I live. At. I don't hate the heat or anything like that. You know, I don't mind the warmth. I just hate when it gets like, you know, 105 degrees for no freaking reason. Dude, this sniper feels so good. Pause, double pause, triple pause. I just realized we're playing team deathmatch for three minutes in. The most kills that either team has gotten is not over 20. Holy, this is going to be a dragging match. Probably doesn't help that we got to run 20 miles just to fight one person and die again. So, yeah, I'm going to be that guy. I'm not going to continue to do this, man. I know I'm top fragging or whatever, but this is stupid. I'm not going to sit here for seven minutes playing running simulator just to fight one person, bro. I'm not doing this, dog. Five minutes. I've left one man. 
and bro. I literally left one match. You left a quick play match before it complete. Your ratio to match, how is it? How is my ratio weird? I literally played one match and left one. Literally today, as of December 24th, I've left one Crucible match and played one Crucible match. How does that even make sense? Bungie, it's not my fault your game is dog shit. I'm sorry. Like, it's just stupid. You have skill-based matchmaking in a casual playlist, and then you want to sit there and put, you know, deserter penalty up in it. For what? And then to make it even better, the only other rotating playlist we get is Team Scorched and Competitive. We all know what comp is like. We definitely know what Trials is like. What do I look like? You can't grind anything in Team Scorched. Like, what's the point? I never understood the purpose of this thing. I mean, yeah, it was a cool idea. Everyone has Scorched can shooting at each other, but let, let's be real. What is the actual population of people playing Team Scorched? I really want, I need to know the exact numbers, because I know it's not more than Rumble. Oh, maybe I should go on Twitter and freaking, you know, at DMG or some random crackhead and bungee man, because this is so stupid. I leave one match and I get a penalty for five minutes. This is, bruh. Imagine if this was in Call of Duty, bro. Like, I'm telling you right now, if Call of Duty were to do the same thing put a deserve penalty in their game do you know how many people would not be playing that jump bro i promise you i, I promise you the player count will go down steeply all right y'all boys well we're pve in because i right, whatever yeah we're pve in today you know, Bungie, I got a great idea. Let's just put a deserter penalty in every stinking game mode of the game. Let's put it in PvE too. What if someone leaves a strike mission to her? Let's go ahead and just, you know, give them a 10 minute ban for leaving a strike mission. I look, I can understand if I was just sitting here leaving like every other match state. I'm not gonna lie. There have been days where I've just left like matches like straight up and just didn't care. So I'm not gonna lie. There have been missions like this where I've done the battleground missions and I straight up left too because I get blueberries that have no idea what they're doing. I straight up left. If you think I'm gonna spend this entire time on this mission, Trying to fool up with blueberries who have no idea what they're doing. Heck no, I'm leaving. What the heck? I don't feel like playing running simulator on a goddamn TDM match. Alright, so outside this game being full-blown retarded along with the company that owns it and everything, uh, for all my American people that watch, uh, football, who y'all got going to the Super Bowl, bro? Now, I'm not the biggest football enthusiast. I'm definitely more of a basketball, you know, enthusiast, but, you know, I do follow football to some degree. I am definitely a bandwagon fan when it comes to football. Once the playoffs come around, I kind of just pick one team I'm really pulling for. If Baltimore is not in the playoffs, then, you know, it's just whoever, you know, it's just doing well. Or whoever, like, the underdog is, I should say. I'm all, I'm all, I've am i always been a fan of the underdog. Like, uh, last year when uh, Cincinnati, they were in the championship and everything like that. That was, like, the first time, at least in my goddamn existence, that, you know, the Bengals have actually been decent. I was just like, heck yeah, Bengals, you know, I want to see you guys go all the way. Unless it's just a team I straight up despise, and that team is the Cowboys. I will always and forever just hate the Cowboys franchise. And it has nothing to do with the players. Okay, me not liking the Cowboys has everything to do with their fan base. I'm sorry. In football, it's the Cowboys. and basketball, it's the Boston Celtics. I'm sorry. If you're a fan of either one of those franchises, I look, hey, it's nothing personal. But the fandom for those for both of those teams have just made me just dislike them so much. Like, especially at my job, bro. Every time the Cowboys win, I, I never hear the end of it. It's just all day. Not even all day. It's basically like the next, like, three days I'm just hearing it. At Cowboys. Boys, we're so great. It's our, it's our year this year. Yeah, get out of here. Shut up. Same thing with Boston. But the only thing with the Boston Celtics that makes no sense to me, I actually like the city. I just can't stand their fan base. I would totally go out my way, go live in, you know, Massachusetts and probably go live in Boston. But, you know, actually supporting their team. Yeah, no. Again, nothing to do with the players. You know, actually, no, I can't stand Marcus Smart. I take that back. Marcus Smart is actually annoying to watch. For some reason, every time Marcus Smart plays one of my teams that I want to win, this man turns into like prime NJ, starts hitting like sidestep threes and everything. He just starts playing playing like what he's not it doesn't make sense of course when i shoot my tether this thing wants to hit an ultra instinct instant transmission move on me and completely just all right and i know i'm gonna be in that playlist a whole lot this season for like the next couple of weeks because i want the Icolos smg i want the sniper and I want the stinking pulse rifle all crafted. So, you know, it's going to be a fun time. I promise you guys, I really be chilling. You know, I know you guys see me like, you know, rant and rave and whatever like that. But honestly, I just be chilling. I just be, you know, expressing my frustration in the moment. But, you know, uh, in general, I'm just pretty chill. All right, so some of you have asked if I stream on Twitch and everything like that. And my answer to that is technically, yes, I do. I am affiliated on it and everything. It's just Twitch at the moment is in a funky spot because literally, if you follow somebody, you're going to get hit with like a million ads trying to follow somebody. Now, last thing I want you guys to do is like to tune into my stream and get hit with like five ads just to watch my stinking stream get hit with five ads just to like join it then you get hit with like another five throughout the hour it's just not the most like enjoyable experience i don't know if there's like an actual way i can like physically turn off 
the actual like ads like popping up i don't know if there's like an actual way i can do that myself but if there is i will gladly do so and uh turn it off so you guys can just tune in and not have to deal with the ad i mean i get that's how guys make their money and everything i, I understand that aspect of totally 100 percent guy get their bread twitch guy get their bread the sponsors guy get their bread you know what i'm saying i understand all that yeah, but normally when i do stream it's just me doing like pvp or something like that it's nothing like too crazy yeah but for the most part you know pvp you know i might do stuff like you know like quick play with chat or something like that you know what i'm saying stuff like you know ways that you guys can interact with me but if you have to sit there and watch like 10 20 ads an hour just to you know sit there and watch me you know it's not that you know I don't think that's enjoyable because I know me personally, I wouldn't enjoy having to watch like 10, 20 ads. And at the same time, I don't want, I don't want to force nobody to have to like, you know, sub just to avoid the ads. It, it's such a weird system, man. I would totally stream on YouTube, but every time I stream on YouTube, everything just crashes. Like my internet router is just like, not nah, peace out, cuz we're dipping, going to the store to get some milk, cuz we'll see you later. There we go. I was like, come on. I know you're going to step out. I know you're going to step out eventually. Dude, this guy's resilience has to be high. What's his name? I well, Hold on. I got to see this dude's resilience because every time I fight him, I'm leaving him like absolutely one shot. His resilience is 103? God dang, boy. Boy, so let's check it out. So I have four of the little upgrades I can focus on right now. So there's the armor focusing, which we're not worried about at the moment. Then there's the key code bounties, which I'm not really worried about either. It's not really that hard to get key codes, to be honest. Now, this one right here, the deep sided one, this one gives me a red drop, basically, for any gun I haven't unlocked yet. Now, this is more so for the long call, so this will probably be the next one I get, but I'm definitely going with the weapon focusing this time. Mostly because I can just, like, you know, stack up resources, and then once I stack up all my resources, I can just, like, dump it into like you know just focusing like you know a specific weapon but anyway that's it for this video um probably later on i don't plan on streaming because of all like the football stuff going on but definitely like in the background while i'm not playing i'll definitely be doing i'll just be farming the battlegrounds and hopefully by the time uh at least next week i can have all the red borders of these things done hopefully my rng has isn't as trash as it was the past couple of days because this is pitiful man anyways thanks for watching this video man you guys are awesome if you made it all the way to the end if you're brand new here make sure you hit that like button down below and also hit that sub button so you don't miss any of my videos go check out some of my old videos i have on the channel so you get yourself all caught up with all the shenanigans that we pull But that's it for today, y'all boys. Y'all take it easy. Have a good holiday, little weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.